What's up you guys? Welcome back for episode number five of my boat build. In this episode everything's really starting to come together. Um, I'm just going to show you how I went about painting the boat, um, painting all the framing and getting everything put back in the boat all put together. Um, I do some hinges, I do some struts and yeah I'll let you watch and see if you like it, see if there's anything you can take away from it. Um, if you guys are liking my videos Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm open to comments as always. I'll get back to you if you have any questions. So we'll get to the video. Good morning guys. Today is Sunday morning. Um, yesterday was Saturday of course. Uh, my wife and I took a break yesterday, went up to the mountain, did a little bit of fishing. I got lucky, caught a couple trout. that was fun but today I got to get back to work on this boat so now I got to start painting everything um, so I'll pull all this decking back out set it aside pull the framing out I'm probably gonna set it over here if it'll fit and then clean up the inside of the boat really good and put a coat of paint on the inside of the boat paint all the framing and I'll probably have to do two coats because I did this test on here with this paint and you can still see the blue coming through. So I have to do one coat, let it dry, do another coat just to make sure the coverage is good. Um, I don't know about on the wood. I got lucky with the wood on this. I just did one coat, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little see-through, but that doesn't bother me. So it's already watertight it's just for aesthetics so i'll probably just do one coat on the wood if i can get away with it and two coats on the boat so it'll be a little time consuming but it's going to look a whole lot better when it's done so that's what i'm going to be working on So this took longer than I thought it would, but I just taped off all this um, chrome strip, bumper strip stuff that's on the side because it's all riveted on. Um, I'd have to drill it all out to take it out and then buy new stuff to put it on. So I don't want to get paint on it. So I just taped it all up. And I found that if you take a razor blade, if you overlap it, at first I was trying to get it perfect, but if you overlap it and then tuck it in and then take a razor blade and go around it, it turns out really good. You, I should get a nice clean edge and shouldn't get any paint on that. So that's good. And then I wasn't planning on painting the whole boat, but I don't want it to look weird. <laughs> so I want to paint all the patches that I did. So what I decided to do was just tape off the two hole areas and try and leave those blue and then paint everything else gray. And if it turns out weird and I don't like it, I'll just paint the whole thing. But for now, I'm gonna try that. Hopefully a gallon and half a quart's enough. And yeah, paint all this. We'll 
got enough paint on that where I'm happy with it. So that part's going to be carpeted. Don't freak out. <laughs> it's going to be covered with carpet. So that's why I didn't paint that part. But everything else is pretty well coated. Um, the boat, however, I just got done with the second coat. I may have to do a third coat just because there's still some areas where you can kind of see the blue through. So that'll bug me if it doesn't uh, doesn't get nice solid gray, but it's coming out pretty good. I like it. We'll see how it looks when I tear the tape off. Hopefully nothing ran down, but if it did, I'm just going to paint all this. So no big deal. I'm going to let this dry. I think I'm done for today and then check it out tomorrow. It's Tuesday. I didn't get to work on this yesterday. I had to take care of some other stuff. So I'm getting back at it today. I just got done tearing all the tape off and all my lines look pretty good. I don't have any runs anywhere. So I'm fairly happy with how it came out. So anywhere that's exposed, is obviously going to be gray now and everything else that's blue is going to be covered up but i just did it like this so when you do open it up you can actually see a line and it looks kind of uniform like it was designed that way so i'm pretty happy with it um i don't know how well this paint's going to hold up it's just the same rust-oleum can stuff that i used on the wood I just used it because I had a lot of it and I wanted it to be gray where it's gonna, you're gonna see it all the way down this side and in the back area. So we'll see how it holds up. And yeah, now I gotta start carpeting the rest of that, that piece there and then the other side. And once I get that carpeted, I can put this back in the boat and start putting all my decking back in, get it all secured in there start fastening the casting deck on and all that stuff so that's what i'll be working at put back in the boat just mock fit it up i think i'm gonna stop for the night though i'm getting hungry so i'm gonna go have some dinner i think maybe tomorrow i'll start fitting everything up and actually getting it mounted figuring out what kind of hinges i want to use for everything and whatnot so yeah coming along good i picked up some stainless steel hinges these ones are the bigger ones i got um and i got some smaller ones a bunch of different hardware, all that stuff. I bought these first and then I realized these weren't stainless and I don't want to use them, so. Not gonna use those. I'm only gonna use the stainless stuff. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna paint these uh, with the same color gray. So they'll match the boat. But I gotta make sure everything's gonna fit up good before I use them in case I have to return them. But my plan is to use these small ones. I'll just show you what one of these ones already opened. And then I know for sure I'm gonna use these big ones. Um, these small ones, I'm gonna do it just 
Uh, here, I'll show you on this hatch. So these hatches that are butted up against another piece, they're just gonna fit down in here like that. And you put screws this way and that way, and then your hatch will open like that. So paint them gray, stick them in there for that one. Um, these ones are gonna be a little more tricky because I couldn't fit that piece in here. So my plan is to actually lay them flat because there's enough room, there's enough of a gap to where I can lay them flat like that. And then the hatch will sit on top of it. I think that'll work all right. So there's enough room to put some screws in that. And then screw it to the bottom of the hatch here. And that way it'll be tight fit this way and it should open okay. There's a nice gap there. So that's my plan with those. And then uh, same thing for the front hash, just stick them down in like that. Probably do three on the front, it's a little bigger hatch. So I'll do three of these little ones. And then for the big side ones, that's where it's gonna, I'm gonna use these bigger, these bigger ones. So I got some hardware and some nuts to go down through. So this will go down through my fiberglass and I'm gonna use the screws into the wood, but I'm just gonna paint them. And I'm gonna do three of these bigger ones cause this is a huge hatch door. I'm gonna stick them in there like that. So through bolt it through the fiberglass and then screw it into the hatch lid. And that way I can open them just like that. And then I have to fasten all the stationary pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this middle board down, the backboard. Um, I'm gonna work on securing the casting deck. I'm actually gonna to have to through bolt that too. So I have to drill some holes, put my little screw down through and then nut it on the bottom. And then I'll probably, I'm gonna to have to screw it to the framing here too. It's far forward, but like there and then this big old warp in this sucker. Hopefully I can pull it down okay and it'll stay down. Put some screws in there. So yeah, that's the plan for bolt, putting everything down and putting the hinges on. Coming back to this real quick, I think I changed my mind about painting these because I actually like how they look. So they're stainless, so they're gonna stay like this and they're like a nice metallic color and it just kinda I don't know, there's only gonna be three little ones on that one and then two little ones back there and then you won't even really see these ones on the side. And I kinda like the accent cause I got this chrome piece here and then those and then the aluminum on the back, that's gonna be covered up by the motor but I, I don't think I'm gonna paint them. I think I'm just gonna leave them the way they are and put them on like that cause I kinda like it. guys quick update um, I was just fitting up trying to see how these hinges would work out I put them on this side first you can see the holes but that didn't work out there's not enough of a gap here for me to open the hatch it like opens about halfway and then it binds up against the wall here it's just not enough room uh, there's probably enough room on the front one but uh, since I had to change up what I'm doing I'm just gonna have them open inward like that. Uh, I actually put the hinges on this one already and it works out pretty good. So I'm just gonna do it like that. It's not ideally how I wanted to do it, but it works out just, just as good. 
with the seat I'm gonna put here, it's got a stand, so they'll still clear the seat opening inward. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna put them on the inside and my hatches are gonna just have to open inward. But no big deal. I'll probably put a shock on them so they stop like right up here or yeah. Figure that out down the road, but yeah, I'm just gonna put the hinges on the inside and that'll be just fine. Before I get too far and get all these in, I just want to show you <clears throat> what I decided to use in case anybody's interested. Um, I got these tapered head, uh, I can't remember the size of them, quarter 20s. Uh, and I'm just using all stainless and then a washer and a thread locking nut on the bottom. So just drilling, I think a quarter inch, yep. Just a quarter inch hole through the plywood, down through the fiberglass, and then it sits really nice and flush. Just sinks itself in there. So nobody will stub their toe on it or anything. And it's, this is really dirty under here, don't mind that, but yeah, just like that. So I think they'll come out pretty good. I'm gonna put eight of them. I'm gonna do eight, so yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. I got three of them in, five more. small hatches um, in place I got the hinges on okay they all worked out really nice Ooh. I really like them these ones weren't actually that hard um, I tried to show a close-up time-lapse of how I was doing it but I was putting the hinge here first and then putting the hatch lid on after that so not too bad they're pretty easy it's just the side to side you got to be careful with to get it to fit right that's why I got this one a little bit too tight. I um, put it too far that way, but it I moved that piece. I was able to compress it that way just a little bit, and it gave me just just a little bit more room. So it it's pretty good fit. But like I said, these ones were easy. These big side cabinets that I'm gonna do next are gonna be a little more difficult. I think I'm gonna put the hinge on the boat first. Um, do all three and then I'm going to have to 
try and get this bolted onto the hinges after that. I just think it's gonna be easier to, uh, to handle by myself that way and to get it lined up right. So we'll see. Alright guys, as you can see right here, I'm using some tape on my hatch lid to line up where my hinges have to go. I actually took this away from one of Anthony Jones's videos on his Top Gun John Boat build. Um, it actually works really well on placing your hinges, so I decided to try it out and I really like how it works. It gets everything lined up really good. Alright, I got these hinges on. Got this cabinet set up. I got a little distracted for a minute and had to try something out. Didn't film it for you guys, but put a shock on it. It's super nice. I just wanted to fit it up, make sure it was gonna work because I didn't know for sure if that was gonna be the shock I needed. And I needed to return it soon if it wasn't gonna work. So I had to try that out but it works awesome. Get it past a certain point, it closes your lid. Get it past a certain point that way, it opens it. Super slick, I'm excited. I had to put that piece in there, I didn't have a piece of framing, so I'll have to take that back out and paint it and stuff, but I just wanted to try it, make sure it was gonna work, and it is, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna move on to this side, get the hinges on, and I'll film doing that shock, how I did it on that one. Alright, right here I'm installing that shock. Um, mine came with instructions on how to measure and where you're supposed to place each end of it. So that's what I'm doing right here. And if you follow the instructions, it works out really well. guys i think i'm gonna stop for today i just wanted to give you a quick shot of all the cabinets open um it's coming out really good i'm super excited these shocks turned out really good i like them i have one more but i don't think i'm gonna put one on this one just because this lid is so tall um it would kind of be in the way opening it like that so i like being able to have that one fold all the way down like that. Um, I'm probably going to get four more for the middle. I just got to get smaller ones. But, yeah, it's coming along really good. I'm going to be fishing out of this thing in no time, hopefully. All right, guys. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, if you got any questions for me, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already, please subscribe, share it with your friends, whatever you want to do. I'd greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.